seen in Nashville playing out on televisions and social media all across our country and around the world. Fatal gunfire destroying six lives tonight before the shooter was killed in a confrontation with police. The tragedy happened at Covenant School, a pre-K through sixth grade school on the southwest side of Nashville in the Green Hills area. That's where Action News 5's Bria Bolden joins us now live with a look at how the city is remembering the victims tonight. Bria? Well, Metro Nashville police have identified the shooter as 28 year old Audrey Hale. Police say Hale identified as transgender and was a former student at the Covenant School. Families of children at the Covenant School in Nashville's Green Hills neighborhood rushing in panic after reports of a school shooter at the small Christian private school. <laughs> the three students who died just nine years old. The adult victims were all staff members, including the headmaster, a custodian, and a substitute teacher. Police say a team of five officers went into the school and killed the shooter, Audrey Hale, just before 10.30 a.m. Monday morning. She was armed with at least two assault-type rifles and a handgun. Investigators searched Hale's home. Some of the evidence collected, police say, included writings and maps of the school. Police also say Hale drove this car found in the school parking lot. Investigators say they found more writings inside. Entry was gained through shooting through one of the doors uh, is how they actually uh, got uh, into the school. Nashvillians in mourning, sharing their grief at several vigils around the area Monday and at this growing memorial outside of the Covenant Presbyterian Church in school. It kind of touched home. Um, I actually lost my mom at the age of 10, and I just know some of the parents and, t well, some of the teachers here uh, just kind of remind me of home sometimes because when kids come to school, they kind of come to where they feel safe. Daniel Rodriguez and Sam Tidwell, just two of many going out of their way to pay their respects. It's easy to be, be angry in, these, in times like these. Um, however, it's it's important to number one love yourself, uh, love love those around you, uh, be there for the people who who might need you, and, and really just build this community back to to being a loving loving community, um, and we can avoid tragedies like this hopefully. And police say Hale had no criminal history before this. Joe Joy. All right, Bria, police are talking about any sort of connection between the shooter and the school, right? Right. They do say Hale was a former student at the Covenant School, but the police chief said today that he wasn't sure what years they attended. Meanwhile, the police are continuing to look for a motive for this tragedy. In Nashville, Bria Bolden, Action News 5. All right, Bria, thank you so much.